Assalamu alaikum, my dear brothers and sisters. Inshallah, today we start with uh, Surah Al-Fil. And this is also a reminder to the people of Mecca and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected them from the army of the elephant. So the word Al-Fil means the elephant. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uh, Alam tara kayfa? Have you not seen? Tara means you see. Alam tara have you have you not seen how fa'ala rabbuka bi ashab al-fil how your lord dealt with the people of the elephant or what your lord did with the people of the elephant and the story is that uh, in yemen there was a king named abraha and he wanted to impress a Naj najashi or the negus the king of abyssinia so he told him that he was going to build for him a house that is so magnificent, like a Christian church, right? That is so magnificent that people are no longer going to go to Mecca, you know, because people used to go to Mecca for pilgrimage for, and because of the pilgrimage they did to the house of the Kaaba or the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there was a lot of trade, a lot of businesses that are going to Mecca. So he wanted all of this to go to Yemen and to be for a Christian church instead of the house that was built by Prophet Ibrahim salam. So he was jealous and he wanted to uh, make lots of money and he wanted also to impress the king and the Jeshi of Abyssinia. So he built this magnificent church and then when uh, an Arab heard of what he did, but he was, of course, a non-Muslim because Prophet Muhammad was not even born yet. Um, this Arab from Mecca, you know, who got, got also jealous that he's trying to get people to stop coming for Hajj and to the Kaaba, etc. So he went and he did something really awful in his church, right? Something I cannot mention. It's like really terrible. So the king... Uh, Abraha, he got really mad because of what this man did. So he decided to take an army and go and invade the Kaaba and destroy it. And on his way, he was killing and murdering everybody that stopped and uh, that was in his way between him and between uh, Mecca. So he was such an evil person, killed a lot of people going on his way to destroy the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that was built by Prophet Adam and Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us what happened to them. So this is the first verse. Allah is telling the Prophet sallallahu And this is also a reminder to the people of Quraysh, right? That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed them by protection. And this was another kind of protection. And then Allah says, Alam yaj'al kaydahum fi tadli. Didn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroy their scheme? And وَأَرْسَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ طَيْرًا أَبَابِيلٍ And Allah sent upon them Flux of birds, Tayran is birds. So Arsala, he sent alayhim upon them or against them. Tayran flux uh, birds and Ababil flux of birds. Tarmihim bihijaratin min sijil. Throwing at them stones from fire, min sijil from Jahannam or from the hellfire. And Fajalahum, Allah made them kaasfin ma'kul like chewed up straw, like when the animals, you know, eat the qash or the straw. This is what they look like after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punished them with these rocks from Jahannam that were sent upon them. So this is a reminder for us as well that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no one can stand against them. And if Allah is protecting you, no one will be able to harm you. Like uh, the Prophet sallallahu said that if all humanity and all jinn, they came together in order to harm you by something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not prescribe, prescribe upon you, they will never be able to do so. So put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and always remember to say your adhkar to protect yourself in the morning and in the evening and know that no one can stand against you, no one can hurt you if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is on your side. May Allah protect us and our children. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.